everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is going to be a kind of short video. As you can see, I am very pale and I just got the St. Tropez Self Tan Purity Kit from Ulta. I had a gift card there from Christmas. So I just decided that today I was gonna try and self tan. Usually when I'm tan, I feel better about myself. I don't really know why. And I did just get my hair done yesterday. It's um, dark, obviously. And I know that when my hair is dark, I look even more pale. Today, I just thought I would test this out for you guys and try to see how well I could put it on, what the color looks like, especially because I am so pale. Sometimes the self tanners look very orange on me and I don't want that. I just want a natural tan. So yeah, today we're gonna test this out and see how it works. So I just got a shower and exfoliated my body. Um, I used, let me grab it real quick. I used this Hemp's Blackberry and Lemongrass um, Herbal Exfoliating Body Scrub, which I just got this at Ulta too, along with this. And it smells amazing. I really recommend the lotion came with it too, and it smells so good. It kind of smells like candy. Um, if you're into that but it's like a really sweet smell and i really like it so um there's a recommendation for you guys all right so here is how pale my skin is before i know such a great shot as you can see i'm very pale um it is winter time so usually in the summer i get a little bit of color but right now not so much so i'm gonna clip my hair back all right so i'm just going to clip my hair back and I hate wearing my hair up but I just want it out of the way also I got curtain bangs as you can see which I really like them but for right now they have to go with my ears all right now that we're oh my goodness stay now that we're rocking this hairstyle I guess we can start seeing about the face drops. Also, this little guy, or as I should say, big guy, showed up and I don't know how to get rid of it. And it doesn't have like a pimple head, but it hurts so bad. And it's so red, I look like Rudolph. So, and I've read that this is for like, extremely like dry, sensitive skin, which I have obviously really dry skin um especially in between my eyes and around my nose i just get super dry skin in the winter and it's so annoying no matter how much like moisturizer i put on how much i um take care of my skin it still gets dry even my hands do which whenever we do the self tanning i have to make sure that i'm well moisturized which i heard that you can put this stuff on in, like with lotion and you can also put makeup over it i will not be putting makeup over it because i don't want to mess it up but um i will be putting on face lotion with it to see if that'll help spread it out more make it more even so first i'm going to start with this i watched a video on it and it said that you just spray a few sprays and then you can rub it in with your hands with moisturizer so i think that's what i'm going to try now okay and i will scare your spray let's go ahead and spray it okay this is bad okay. okay i sprayed it and now i'm just gonna rub on some moisturizer it's said to rub it in with your hands because you obviously get dark spots from it. Which, I mean, that makes a lot of sense because if you don't rub it in, I can see why you would get some dark spots on your face from it. It says that this tan takes four to eight hours to work, of course. So I'm just going to spray like a few. Mm. Did anyone see me get that right in my eye? We're gonna pretend that I did not do that. I just applied the face tanner. Obviously, my face is super sensitive, so I already have red lines because I was rubbing it in. That's that. I used about probably three or four sprays on my face, and it takes four to eight hours to work. But now I'm going to look at this, the 
St. Tropez Bronzing Water Mousse. All right, sorry about that. I had to take a few minutes, my mom called me. But I'm gonna try this out next. It has like a little pump. And this little kit I got from Ulta had these two things and a mitt for $25. Super nice, especially if you just want to try the tan out before purchasing like a big bottle. I think that's really cool. The videos I watch, they put it on and then they let it dry for five minutes and then put back on their clothes, which my face is already dry, which is super nice because I'm very impatient and hate waiting. So I'm just gonna try this out on my leg first and then probably apply the rest off camera. So as you can see, my legs are really pale, of course. So I'm just going to, first of all, open the mitt because I have not opened it yet, which it's actually a really nice mitt for being in that kit. So I'm just gonna apply like two pumps and then just rub it in. It's very easy to apply. And I actually really like the smell of it. I heard that some people think it stinks, but so I'm just gonna do the same on my other leg. Just kind of rub it all in, which I just accidentally took the mitt off, but that's fine. Kind of rub it all over. I'm just gonna put a little bit of lotion on my legs. Kind of while it's still wet or kind of sticky, so I can um get it kind of mixed in all the way. So I just finished up applying it on my legs. Now I'm going to apply the rest off camera and I will be right back. All right, I just applied the, um, the body one. I applied it all over, of course, my arms, legs, chest, back. Um, and it doesn't feel sticky. It dried really fast. Um, I probably just let it sit for about five minutes and then put my clothes back on. And then I, of course, wash my hands off. I don't want any dark color stuck in my fingers, which that's happened a lot to me before. So um, I'm gonna let it sit. It says four to eight hours. So I'm gonna see, right now it is 11.30. So at around 3.30, um, I might be able to see a little bit of the color and then kind of update you. But as for now, um, I kind of see my arms, like they don't look very different. This one, maybe a little bit. It might look just a tiny bit darker on both my arms so far, but nothing too out of the ordinary. I think just because it's like clear, um, you can't see anything for a while. So I will give you an update in about four hours and we'll see if it looks any different or if I can tell any difference. Hey everyone, obviously it's not the same day. Um, it is actually over 24 hours later. But I came to give you a little update on the tanning that I did yesterday. After I put it on, I let it dry and then I just put my clothes back on. It was great, smelled awesome, wasn't sticky. So I didn't even remember I put it on, honestly. That's probably why it took me so long to make an update. And then I did have work today and then I took a shower and forgot that I didn't update you. So um, the tan was really nice. Um, it did give me a little bit of color, if you can see. I know I'm still pretty pale, but it gave me the tiniest bit of color, which I'm actually glad because usually whenever I'm using a tan for the first time and I don't know how it's gonna go, I'd like to see how it works first off. So you can definitely tell that I did self-tan, but you can't tell that much, which I like. The tan is a great color. It's not orange at all. It's just like a olive shade, which I love. That's what I usually look for in tanning. Um, I didn't see any splotches at all. Not really splotchy, which is good because the liquid is clear. Um, I don't know if I said that yesterday, but the liquid is completely clear. And when you put it on, you can't really see. It's just clear. So it's nice that there were no splotches, especially because you can't really see where you put the tan. If you're a beginner, or if you're just looking to 
apply like a natural tan, this would definitely be the way to go. I know they have different colors and like express. If you're looking for like a more drastic change, I would definitely recommend a different one. But as for this, um, I really do love it. I will be using it again. And so yeah, I just thought I'd update and let you know that I did really like it. It's more a natural tan, which is what I like. So if you're into that, I would definitely recommend. Um, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.